This was an understandably frustrating game for Mexico, but as much as Mexico are our rivals and as much as our fan bases like to have a go at each other, I would say to El Tree fans, exercise a little bit of caution because this Martinique team that you struggled to put away definitively um, is better than first meets the eye, not just based on what happened tonight, but um, keep in mind that more or less the same crop of players um, with guys like Eric Parsiman and uh, uh, Bethelery and um, uh, uh, Sebastian Cretinois, uh more or less was the same crop of players that gave the USA a scare in the last Gold Cup in 2017. Ominously enough, same score line, 3-2. to two. Um, In fact, we relented a 2-0 lead in that game. Martinique came back to tie the game, and it, we needed a Jordan Morris, of all people, strike in the 72nd minute to put them away. Um, and what happened in that tournament? USMNT went on to win the Gold Cup. So it was very visible especially on the face of Tata Martino, who received a yellow card in this match. Uh, very angry and unsatisfied with this performance and with this result by Mexico. And I know Mexican players and Mexican football critics and um, Mexican fans hold their team to a higher standard. Um, but I would urge caution. I think you guys are still... The favorites to win this tournament. You guys are still likely going to win this tournament, um, even though I even though I didn't I did not predict you to do so, and I still don't predict you to do so. You're still the favorites for this tournament, just like you always are. Um, we would be remiss to not give uh, an, a, a nod to this Martinique side, who I've been showing love on in my channel. I said, uh, going all the way back to the CONCACAF Nations League qualifying phase and after the 16 teams were confirmed and during the Gold Cup uh, preview videos that Martinique have a serious team and they have quietly been arguably a top five side in the, in the Caribbean for quite some time here and to reiterate what I said in my Martinique profile vid, um, behind the likes of Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Haiti, maybe Curacao, uh, I put Martinique right up there amongst the best sides in the Caribbean. Um, and we have to take a moment to acknowledge that this was yet again a small island territory, a country who's not even a member of FIFA, they're just a member of CONCACAF, who on, on another occurrence punched above their weight uh, against the Giant. And they've been getting results all the time in this tournament. People just haven't been noticing. They defeated Canada in the 2013 Gold Cup. They played Canada quite well in the first half of this year's Gold Cup. And without that defensive error that led to Canada's goal, and without Kevin Parsiman uh, not putting away two or three of his chances, we could be looking at a very different story right now, possibly Martinique, in the next round. Um, but this is a team that has gotten results against teams um, in the past in this very same stage. Like I said, Canada. They've beaten Trinidad and Tobago in the Gold Cup. Um, they've beaten Nicaragua in the Gold Cup. Uh, they got to the quarterfinals, I think, in 2002, and they came a semi, the, a penalty shootout away from getting to the semis. Um, this is a team that is always, or rather, excuse me, usually there or thereabouts, um, making a, a, a respectable name for themselves in the Gold Cup. And when the draw came out, we said, you know, congratulations to Mexico and Canada. You're probably going to go through. I did not feel that way at all whatsoever. I felt that Martinique, as 
was, as the history indicated, were in with a shot of coming through this group. And they were, if things had gone a little bit differently in that Canada game. But that was always that was always their doom once they relented that opportunity. Um, so I don't think Mexico has very much to be upset about with this game, to be quite honest with you, because this is a mirror image reflection of Bruce Arena's USMNT uh, team in the Gold Cup two years ago. And we won that tournament, like I said. Um, you also have to you also have to say there's very few goalkeepers in the world that save Kevin Parsiman's uh, free kick, the one that he took in the 56th minute to tie this game, to briefly bring Martinique back into this match and put them on level terms with Mexico. That was a well-struck free kick, the best of the tournament so far. Absolutely sensational. He tucks that in the upper right-hand corner. I don't think anyone in this tournament gets a thing gets a single finger on that ball. So, you know, and Mexico responded quite strongly. I mean, you guys retook the lead a couple of minutes later. Uh, Raul Jimenez, a great assist by Rodolfo Pizarro, who I erroneously picked for Golden Boot in this tournament. I probably should have picked another Mexican player. Um, and then you, you grabbed another one 10 minutes later. You grabbed another one 10 minutes later, this time assisted by Raul Jimenez, Fernando Navarro. So you responded quite strongly. You allowed a, uh, a lesser opponent to come back into the game off of a strike that you could do very little about. Because sometimes free kick opportunities like that, there's not much you can do about it from prevent that from going in. You responded with two goals. So try to look at the positives here. You responded with two goals in quick succession to bring this game three to one. And like I said, uh, Martinique, this is not their first rodeo. They don't really have a flashy or sexy name in the world of football, but that's partially uh, due to the fact that they're not FIFA members, which I think I'm going to reiterate here is an unspeakable crime. Martinique, get FIFA membership. Do it. And uh, for Mexico, you guys are through to the next round. I mean, you won the group. You're probably going to play Haiti unless they slip up against Costa Rica, which is unlikely. I would love to see a Mexico-Costa Rica quarterfinal, but it's not going to happen. I don't think so. Um, El Tri, I'm still probably going to win this tournament. Um, so, yeah, that's just my quick take, hot take. Uh, review, but I got to be honest with you. I feel pretty vindicated with what I've been saying about Martinique this entire time.